Australia. Welcome to Taunton's Tea Bay, a strange and magical place where I find out a little more about items that people are selling online. First up, Samantha. Samantha, what are you selling? Um, I'm selling a Kachua bikini. A Kachua bikini. Can you give me more details? Um, so I compete in uh, bodybuilding, in world beauty, fitness and fashion. When you compete, you wear a Kachua made bikini that's covered in, some people have it covered in Swarovski crystals, um, but they do cost quite a fair amount of money. And have you worn this bikini? I have worn it once on stage, yes. Right. Does that add or detract to the value of it, do you think? Um, in the sense of it being worn, it's fully cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> it would want to be cleaned. But um, it's, I, I think I want to help somebody else who might be struggling financially who wants to do this sort of sport. And if I can do that by offering them a bikini as the first step, then I'd really like to do that. OK, I see what you say. The barrier to entry is quite high in these bodybuilding competitions. Yeah, it, it is quite pricey. <gasps> How many hours a week in the gym <laughs> did you spend working out so you could compete in these competitions and wear the bikini? Um, so I'm in the gym um, anywhere between two and three hours, six days a week. Oh, my God, no. Do you think it would make me look more muscular if I wore it, for example? 100%. What would it enhance as opposed to a regular bikini? Um, so the way that it appears on stage is like under lights, um, the way that it picks up the different colours. Oh, it reflects off the lights and will make me look stronger? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then let's get down to brass tacks. How much are we talking for this bikini? Um, so I currently have it priced for four hundred dollars. What? I did pay thirteen um, thirteen hundred dollars for it. You paid thirteen hundred dollars for a bikini? I did, yes. <laughs> wow. What? But how can it be worth? What's a normal bikini, for example? Could you compete in a normal bikini? I mean, you, you could, um, but it's definitely it's part of the um, the process and the scoring is what your bikini looks like. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, and this one is a proven winner. So for $400, you could potentially win your first bodybuilding competition. You might. Um, Samantha, we really want to help you sell this bikini, let me tell you. I've never wanted anything more. So how about this? Can you finish this advertising slogan for me? I can see if I can give it a go. Australia, you should buy my Glam Fit bikini because... You could win your first bodybuilding competition and have a great time. Wow, that's good. And Samantha, thank you so much for chatting to us. I can't wait to hear the news that you've sold this bikini. Fingers crossed. Next up, Andrew. Can you can you see me? I can see you, yes. Awesome. Andrew's a pro collector with an incredible find. Andrew, tell me what you're selling here. Well, this is uh, an autographed photo of Dick Powell. Dick Powell. <laughs> he was quite an incredible figure in Hollywood in that sort of golden age. He started off doing musical theatre and comedy and then got picked up by one of the major studios and then he launched into wow. a career as sort of like the handsome leading man, which is kind of this year of the photo he's in now. Have you been a Dick Powell fan for a long time? Do you know what? N n no. <laughs> and why do you ask me a question like that? Where did it come? Where did this come from? I found it in a small town in country Victoria. I love history and culture and the arts. And I saw this and went, well, wow, that's a bit different. It is a bit different. I was voted the boy most likely to succeed. That's one of the things I like about doing what I do is I get to sort of cherry pick through history, if you like, and uh, go on little time travels. Would you say this is the first ever dick pick? <laughs> Well, the funny thing is, if you Google that term, I think you might get a very different result if you Google Dick Powell. She wanted me to kiss her and find a jade necklace. Now, Andrew, it's signed. It says, to Mrs. French. Who was that? Do you know? Was that his lover, perhaps? It's funny. He was married three times, and he was married to three very different women, but none of them was called Mrs. French. Really? Yeah. So that's the thing. How did it get to Australia? How did it end up in a small country town where I found it? Do you think this would be a perfect item for someone already named Mrs. French? Could be, or also somebody from France. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what, what are we talking? How much are you thinking for this portrait? Well, it's it's up for 195 To be honest, I think it's probably going to go back to the States. A big dick fan, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of this fire trap. OK, now I've just got this one final question for you, Andrew. I want you to finish this advertising slogan for me. Australia, you should buy my dick power photo because... Ooh because you won't find another one. Andrew, thanks so much for chatting to us. Good luck with it as well. It's been really fun. Bye. There you are. I'm doing, I'm doing important work out there in the community. The, 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 the dick pic was supposed to be a baby shower gift for Jesse, but it was just, <laughs> I just couldn't afford it. I'm so sorry. <laughs>